This is a Zeiss Axios Star Plus microscope. It's outfitted with a mercury 50 watt illuminator for epifluorescence. And it comes equipped with a, uh, a new bulb. And the transformer has seven hours on it. So what you're looking at here is a basically a new microscope that's only been used for seven hours. Starting at the top, I'd like to introduce you to a few of the accessories that are on this microscope. We have the famous Carl Zeiss eyepieces. They are PL10X18 field number and they're equipped with uh, outfitted and corrected for eyeglass wearing so that uh, a person who wears eyeglasses doesn't have to take them off and it will accommodate for your high eye point. Uh, this is the type of binocular that rotates 360. We can't go all the way around 360 with it right now because we have it outfitted with a 0.5x um, adapter for a uh, photo tube and adapting with a camera. Moving down the line we have uh, the nose piece which is a five place nose piece. I'm sorry, four place nose piece. It is equipped with uh, phase objectives. All of these are phase objectives. It's a C-plan acromat on each one of these lenses. 10x, 40x, and 100x oil. And there's a blank spot for an additional objective should you want to add one. Moving down the line, there's a, a phase condenser, which is outfitted with uh, four phase positions, bright field and dark field. The condenser is both focusable and centrable. And you can also remove it easily for cleaning and adjusting. This microscope is also equipped with a field diaphragm so that you can set up for true Kohler illumination. The stage is outfitted with uh, low position coaxial drive so that you can do um, XY mechanical movement very easily, very comfortably. It's also, this microscope is also equipped with a, an ergo stand for ease of use. It's nice and curved to fit the format of your arms when your, your arms are placed there for focusing. This microscope is also equipped with coaxial and uh, coarse and fine focus on both sides of the stand. Moving over to the side, you can see that it's equipped with, of course, the on-off switch, a rheostat for increasing the intensity or decreasing the intensity. Um, on the side of the vertical illuminator for fluorescence, you will see, first of all, the 50-watt lamp housing, the focusing knob for the lamp housing. You'll see a field stop which blocks the light or lets the light through for epifluorescence and also an additional slider with three openings so that you can add filters of your choice depending on the kind of stain and excitation wavelengths you're using. Over here you have a uh, 50 watt um, MBQ uh, AC uh, transformer for the fluorescence illuminator and uh, it's a very powerful unit. It's, it's practically brand new with only seven hours on it. Up here I want to show you the, the filter set and the slider for the uh, different filters. You just simply turn the knob and you can slide the filters out. You can see the far left is blank. That would be the position you do bright field in. And then you have a Rotoman filter and an FITC filter for um, FITC, which is fluorescein isothiocyanate. You just push that back in, turn the knob, and it cannot be removed now. Grace. Also on the top is a vertical uh, photo tube. It's outfitted with an adapter so that you can easily add a DSLR camera of your choice or you can also remove this part and put on a C-mount video adapter and attach the C-mount video camera of your choice. It has a light, has a, uh, a light path selector so that you can direct the light 100% to the camera pushed all the way in and also to the port for photography pulled out. 